Well, hey everybody, it's time for part two of the Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale. It's 50% off Barnes & Noble. That means you get some really great deals on a lot of these Criterion uh, titles. And so today is part two. I am really excited to show you the one thing that I got today, and this is actually going to be uh, probably a short one, but uh, I was able to save up a little bit more money because this one's a big box set. Um, speaking of box sets, I'm really excited for this Ingmar Bergman box set that just got announced. Holy shit, I'm going to have to save up for the next sale in November, I believe, is when it comes out. So, But anyway, we're here to show you exactly what I got today in this box. So what's what's in this box, you know? What's in it? So I got one thing in this box, and it is actually 25 films. It is Zatochi, uh, The Blind Swordsman. And so I'm really excited to show you uh, what the contents of this thing is. So I'm going to put this camera down, and I'm going to show you pretty much from the table exactly what's going on here. All right, so let's open this together, this Satoshi box set. I really like the design on this. Sometimes I really wish that these things would probably fit on a... I wish they would really fit on my shelf a little bit better than they do. But, you know, as these things happen... That is extremely cool. Uh, just all this this artwork. Um, it's like kind of just it's modern, but like at all the same at the same time, it's also going back to like kind of the traditional woodblock prints that Japanese um, artist art is known for. And I think that's really really cool. All right, so let's open this thing up it's to the sides. of Tochi. We got uh, we got a couple things here. This is the book. I'm gonna put that down. It's a Tochi the book right here. I'm sure it's got a lot of film essays in here and stuff like that. Collection. Criterion Collection by Swordsman. I'm sure it goes, yeah, on the road with him. And it probably goes through each of the films in this movie, yeah. And it just shows you different artwork for each of them. And I, this is just, this is really um, fantastic. I got this for $100. Normally it's about $200. So that is really cool. I'm really excited to be looking exactly at what... Um, each of these movies entails. So let's look at the box itself. Uh, there's a couple more things in here. We can just get it out. All right. Wow. Um, so this is one of the coolest box sets that I've ever picked up. That's for sure. So it's got the the tale of Zatochi. Oh, so it's got three in one Blu-ray. Okay. So cool. It'll just go through each of the films. From each of the years, so from 1962, we have two films, The Tale of Zatochi, The Tale of Zatochi Continues, and then 1963, we got The New Tale of Zatochi, that really cool Blu-ray, then we have the fourth movie, Zatochi the Fugitive, we have Zatochi on the Road is the fifth, and Zatochi and the Chest of Gold. Next, some gold, Zatochi's Flashing Sword, Fight, Zatochi Fight, Adventures of Zatochi. So it's going through the 60s. Seems like a lot of them are early, early on. Uh, Zatochi's Revenge, Zatochi and the Doomed Man, Zatochi and the Chest Expert, and the Chess Expert. Chest Expert. That's silly. All right, uh, Zatochi's Vengeance, Zatochi's Pilgrimage, and Zatochi's Cane Sword. I really like all the colors in this because it's just it's so different and vastly uh, clashing too. It just like I don't know. It feels like it's. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just really colorful. Zatochi the Outlaw, Zatochi Challenged, and Zatochi the Fugitives on this next disc. Then we have uh, Samaritan Zatochi, Zatochi Meets Yojimbo. That one sounds really cool. Zatochi Goes to the Fire Festival. I use cool a lot, don't I? And Zatochi Meets the One-Armed Swordsman, Zatochi at Large, and Zatochi in Desperation. And the final film is Zatochi's Conspiracy with some supplements in it. But I'm just... Yeah, this is um, this is one of the prettiest boxes that I've ever seen, and I just really love the the art and the the combination of traditional Japanese artwork on top of just like the kind of the more pop pop art uh, that you see like in a, like an Andy Warhol kind of painting. It's really cool. I am really happy that I picked up the Satoshi uh, box set, the Blind Swordsman. This is probably this is the most expensive thing I own on Criterion um, until the Ingmar Bergman box set comes out. That will be a little bit more expensive. So thank you so much for checking out my little video. Uh, I appreciate it, and uh, I hope you liked my little unboxing.
Don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below, and also share this video and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.